send it through the next side, which would be a finer squeeze. The sugar cane juice would run straight through this door onto the mahogany tracks that would lead to three copper basin boilers. They would boil the sugar cane juice at, tr at three different temperatures. They would start from big pot to medium pot to small pot. The bigger the pot, the lower the temperature. The smaller the pot, the higher the temperature. When these pots start to foam up, they would scrape the foam off of the top of these pots, put it in a nice clean pot for them to dry out, and it crystallizes into brown sugar. That's one process of making the sugar. Now, the second level, we see that little ledge go all the way around and some small and big holes, different sizes, but basically that's where the second floor will be seated. They were stationed a second, uh, older person on the second floor, his two jobs was whenever the wind direction changes, he would let these guys know on the first floor to stop working for a moment. He would unwed the central shaft on the second floor, which this specific sugar mill also had an external lever on the outside that would have them lift the turbines out of those slots to see up at the top. Once these turbines have been lifted out of those slots at the top, then the propeller would automatically turn in the direction that the wind was blowing. Then they would drop back down into those slots, wedge back the central shaft on the second floor, and then let these guys know on the first floor to go back to work. Now, this was a, a wind-operated mill. There was no on or off switches. This one was operated 24-7, all day, all night. Due to the fact that the slaves uh, working so much hours, not getting feed right, not getting that much rest, tired, doting, while they're feeding in that sugar cane. If they get a body part caught in these rollers, they would immediately get the machete and cut off that body part before your whole body been pulled into these rollers. Saturdays they got a uh, vegetable market uh -huh. where they do speak a lot of fresh fruits. They sell it there on Saturdays. Oh. Kind of like a farmer's market. Right. Right yep. That would be interesting for you, right? Yeah. 